Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionalist. Let's continue talking about physiology. In the last video, we have talked about the nucleus. Today, let's talk about the baby nucleus, also known as the nucleolus, inside the nucleus. Looks darker under the microscope. So, let's get started. Let's review what we have discussed in the previous video. The nucleus is the control center, contains DNA inside the chromosomes, and it's surrounded by a membrane called nuclear membrane that has pores. The nuclear membrane, like any membrane in your body, is a double membrane with an intermembrane space in between, and it has pores to allow selective exchange for molecules and ions. The outer membrane, or the nuclear membrane, is continuous with the rough endoplasmic reticulum, so it has lots of ribosomes on it. The nucleolus, which is today's topic, occupies a quarter of the nucleus. It appears darker in color, and it doesn't have a membrane. What are the functions? Assembly of ribosomes and synthesis of R RNA. R stands for ribosomal RNA. The nucleolus enlarges when the cell is synthesizing proteins, because it's more active then. It's like when you're shy, you blush, you're more active, you appear darker. Let's have some metacosis words of wisdom here. The nucleolus is nothing but a place where there are lots of RNA and ribosomal proteins. That's why we don't need a nucleolar membrane. There is no such thing. Where is the nucleolus synthesized or where are the ribosomes synthesized? They begin in the nucleus. Then some ribosomes will stay in the nucleus forming the nucleolus. Others will go to the cytoplasm, to the outside through the nuclear pores. And they will form the ribosomes. RNA plus ribosomal proteins forming ribosomes. Remember that you can get all of these notes if you go to Patreon. Please consider supporting my channel there. Until next time, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. And don't forget to subscribe.